come shopping with me in Primark and see what they've got in store in December 2022. I am re from mummyofour.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to stay tuned all the way to the end to see what I bought in the haul. Now let's go shopping. Oh, these jumpers are nice, 16 pounds. They feel lovely, really soft. I actually quite like this chocolatey brown one. It's so cold right now, but this would be perfect. And in fact, this like cobalt blue is very nice as well. They don't look terribly long, but very nice and snuggly. Purple's nice but I think I prefer the plain one to the cable net. These all 16 as well. Oh no, these are the cable net ones, 14. So these are 16 then, is that right? Yeah, these are 16, but these, oh, is that shorter? Look at that. Oh gosh. That's almost cropped. Not what I want from a warm, snuggly jumper, actually. I would like myself covered if I want to be warm and snuggly. Ah, Christmassy stuff. So what have we got here? Cozy nights and sparkly lights. Christmas jumper, that's nice. Six pounds. Oh, might need one of those. What do you think? Although I tend to wear a small in tops and things, I definitely prefer like a medium in like jumpers like this. Maybe I need one of these. What do we think of that? That's really cute. These are flipping adorable. Like, they're a bit pyjama y, aren't they? Like, I'm not sure if I'd want to wear them outside. But look how cute they are. These are, they've even got pockets. I was a bit annoyed when I bought the Christmas PJs, the Disney Christmas PJs, like the whole family matchy ones, that the women's ones didn't have any pockets. So let's see how much these are. 10 pounds for the snuggliest, like, they're not in the pyjama section, but they're like jammies, aren't they, let's face it. It's like an elf dress, an elf dress. Is that one inside out? That one is, someone's tried that on. We'll put it back inside out. Let's have a look at a right way round one. 16 pounds. I've got um, like a Santa version of this. I must've washed it in a dark load because the fluffy bit has gone kind of gray. So if anyone's got any bright ideas how I can get the fluffy bit when the dress is red back to white without bleaching the whole thing. I'd love to know in the comments because I really need to sort that out. And then we've got this candy cane, like heart cardigan, 12 pounds. That's like a sweet little twist on a Christmas jumper. And then this pudding one, I love the pink, says holiday and puddings. I think I'd prefer a jumper though, to be honest, than a cardigan. I don't know, what's your preference? Are you a cardigan kind of person or more into jumpers? This colour is beautiful. It's not a Christmas jumper, but it is a like a wintry jumper. £18 for that. I love that kind of fuchsia pink colour. And then this Christmas jumper is quite cute as well, actually. With the star, candy canes, and the tree. Haven't seen this one before. That is adorable. I might prefer that to the cosy nights and lights one. What do we think? Which is nicer, that one or the cosy nights and lights? Okay, we've stumbled into Christmas gift type stuff. So... This is a Minecraft, I'm not sure what, a, oh, a desktop decal. So stickers to stick on your gaming equipment, I guess. Oh, these are cute. Marvel, like, keyring dangly things. They only seem to have the letter C, but if they've got a Waffle William, then maybe I'll tell Father Christmas to come and pick one up. Really cute mug gift sets. Apparently these are five pounds. We've got Star Wars mug and sock set bambi oh, i know it's buffer bambi sorry i'm still on phonics with my children b if we're being grown up <laughs> b but but to me the letter should correlate with the person you're giving the mug to as opposed to just bambi i don't know that's maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong we've got marvel ones here two different types of marvel marvel like this and marvel uh with i want to say captain america i should know that then they've got Hogwarts and two different Simpsons. No, a Simpsons and a Spongebob and Nirvana as well. Oh, and super cute mug gift sets with Minnie Mouse. Uh, Minnie Mouse notepad and pen with a mug. Really, really cute. Ah, they're Christmas Advent. I think these are baubles. Yep, 25 days of baubles are currently reduced to just £10, obviously, because you'd have to skim through and open up quite a lot of them by buying them now. Or perhaps worth picking up for next year as it's reduced. They've also got this little advent house reduced to seven and this Mickey advent drummer type thing down from 16, or was that 18? 
Anyway, it's down to 10. And also 12 days of cocoa, reduced to six. More mugs, also some singing toys. <laughs> So we've got the Grinch sets, Marvel with a little notebook as well, if you don't want to get socks. They've got quite a lot of these Funko Pops. Primark exclusive, exclusive. who's he? I don't know, who's someone to do with Star Wars? Reva, third sister, I don't know who that is. William would probably know. The Black Panther, and a bear friend, is that like a Care Bear? And a cute little Star Wars like notebook plannery thing. Oh, and a Mandalorian one, Nick. What's this? A Mandalorian secret diary pad thing. Reduced to £4. I can't believe it, but it is nearly New Year, isn't it? Which is insanity. 2023, I've only just got reduced to right in 2022. But these glow band Happy New Years are quite fun. They've got a rather extensive pet gift collection. Now, I don't actually have pets, as you know, if you've been following me for a while. Um, but there are family members with pets. So I think I will pick up some bits here as gifts for them. So they've got a Grinch slow feeder bowl that's all falling apart, oh dear. A Mickey Mouse's face pet toy. As long as that can't be destroyed because actually having Mickey torn up all over the place would be quite upsetting, wouldn't it? <laughs> they've got these Marvel bone things. How much would a Marvel bone be? 350, okay, that's good. Merry Woofmas, a little 101 Dalmatians, 450. Goofy, Goofy is how much? Five pounds. Ah, oh, and a Darth Vader one, look. 4.50. Ah, oh, maybe these kind of toys would make good, like, dog presents. And they have got a lot of pet outfits now. I'm not sure if this is cruel or cute, but I, that is actually adorable. I mean, if you've, if you've got a dog and need to dress it up as a Christmas tree, six pounds in Primark. Oh, we've got some good reduced bits here. So we've got a, a princess pen and case two pounds this is an ideal kind of gift for birthday parties that kind of thing also this marvel notebook if you haven't uh, heard me talk about it before i have a present box so when the children are invited to class parties i shop when i can find some really good deals pop some bits i know that my children would enjoy in there and then when it's time for them to go to a class party they can pick and like shop from that present box it's a bit less stressful when you get sprung with parties last minute so this is nice a mega painting bag that's really cool seven pounds a nice big gift princess journal and bookmark set three pounds and this is a marvel comics what is this a marvel comics oh that's like a, a pen set an art set that's really cool it's down to four pounds that's a really cool gift over to some socks and i found some christmas ones look at these <gasps> i think i might need these christmas socks in my life guys three pairs they're my size right we've got grumpy donald oh love those cute 450 and i will put them away after christmas with the christmas jumpers and pull them back out again next year i also quite like these mini mouse ones i quite like thicker socks from where i'm wearing boots and wellies and stuff so that my shoes just don't rub they've still got a lot of these um mickey toasty makers and things let's see cake pop maker is reduced to 16 down from 24 the stitch toasty maker is down to 16 from 22 stitch sandwich maker down to 16 from 22 oh hang on so that's a cake pop maker ah that's a sandwich maker that's actually a stitch cake pop maker same as the mickey cake pop maker they've got a mickey mouse toaster and also a stitch toaster now mickey mouse toaster doesn't say it's reduced although it quite likely might be by the time you take it to the till but the stitch toaster is down to 16. this is the most adorable christmas countdown and it's only six pounds so cute looking at the plushes and we've got like the usual suspects that we've seen before stitch slash angel is it pink stitch is called angel dumbo I'm not sure i've seen bambi before bambi seems to be making a comeback this is this angelica from the rugrats i think my little sister used to watch this when i was little is this even still on anyway i haven't seen this plush before but it's in there then they've got this rocking mini mouse as well as this quite hefty he feels ah oh, he feels like he's singing or dancing or something this mickey hang on let's press him oh that's where the noise was coming from sorry everybody oh and there's goofy holding presents he's sweet yeah mickey's gonna keep singing for a while i think regretting having pressed that now because it's still going <laughs> there's a lot of stitch stuff there's this painting stitch add your name to a decoration two different baubly stitch things and then some more stitch baubles and lights down here they always do well on the harry potter stuff in primark they seem to have added some new offerings haven't seen this before a potions notebook and pen set 
What's this? Some sort of game? Who am I? It includes 50 cards and wooden stands and instructions. That's cool. Maybe that would be a good present box game as well. They've got Hogwarts hot chocolate. Oh, these are cute. Look, the little owl. Is it called Hedwig? I can't remember. Um, and the letter from Hogwarts that you can stick into hot chocolate to melt. Oh, these are the Grinch lollipops. We've moved away from Hogwarts, although the Hogwarts train of drinks is really cute. And they have got this Grinch snack set too. I don't know what these are, but I think my girls would love them. What are they? Are they Christmas baubles? Cookies with chocolate chips. So it is a Christmas bauble, but then you open it up and it's got cookies inside. They would definitely love that. Not sure they need them, but they'd love them because there's an Ariel and there's also a Belle. Then there's a mixture of gifty stuff here. They've got Christmas specific stuff. So this is Mickey in a scarf. I guess it's not Christmas specific, it could be winter specific. So maybe that would be giftable for Christmas. Personally, I don't yeah. like gifting things that have Christmas on them on Christmas day because I feel like after Christmas people are kind of a little bit over it so in our house we tend to sort of have all the Christmassy stuff leading up to Christmas and within a few days of Christmas but I don't tend to buy my children things with Christmas actually on them because in my head the things that the children have for Christmas they'll use into the new year so they don't want Christmas on them. Let me know if you do the same or if you like like buying actual Christmas things for Christmas. So my children for example wear Christmas pyjamas leading up to Christmas but not after. This is cute little pillow thing if you put out different Christmas cushions leading up to the big day and this bedding I can't feel how soft it is but I'm guessing it's quite snuggly. Now these however have Christmas on the packaging but oh no they do have Christmas on the candy cane bow thing so that is quite Christmas specific. Like, do you really want to use that in January? Probably not. This however, £9 set, if you like Disney and you want makeup brushes, is not season specific. Ah, these are the jammers I picked up the other day. They are so snuggly. I did, upon closer inspection, realise they're not tumble dryable, which is a bit of a pain when we've got many, many pairs to dry, but never mind. And just a quick question, why have the men's got pockets and the women's haven't? Just asking, because it's not fair. Super cute chocolate lollipops. Penguins, reindeer and Santa, love those. I actually really love these Christmas pyjamas too. These are £11, I love the design. They're just not quite as soft and snuggly as these. And I've got to say, normally I'm not like one for soft and snuggly pyjamas, but gosh, it's been cold lately, so I've been all over it. Good selection of wrapping paper. This one seems to be in the same fabric as the pyjamas. And by the way, the reason I um, talk the way I do it is that the children, don't necessarily watch these videos like they're very unlikely to but could if they chose to so my children hey if you're watching hi so everything on this channel is kept santa safe anyway back to the shopping so as i was saying when father christmas comes to our house i don't know if he does the same in your house he wraps each of the children's gifts in different type of paper like one child different child different child and that way he doesn't have to put uh, labels on every present and it's not confusing so i thought that was quite clever of him as always Primark has got a good offering of Christmas. Are they glasses? Yeah, they're glasses. We've got earrings for 450. Big selection of more earrings for 350. Some Mickey and Minnie Christmas necklaces. They're 350. Some really cute 2023 clips. Two pounds. 2023 glasses. They've got reindeer headbands and also the 2023 headbands and these cute little glittery hats which I think are clips. So if you saw my recent get ready with me you'll know I actually went out out for the first time as in out drinking with friends and staying up late and going dancing for the first time. Definitely since I had Zara, maybe since I had Bella. Anyway I went to take a really tiny handbag and realised that it was just it needed to go in the bin, it was disgusting. So I wonder would this be a good, you know when you just need something tiny, that's five pounds. It's like a clutch, it doesn't have a strap thing at all, but then I could just hold it. Because we are actually going to a surprise birthday party with the children as well, you know, um, and I'll be driving to leave my husband there. But I will have to dress up a little bit. Would that work? Maybe. Or do I want something with a strap? I don't know. I definitely need some sort of tiny, glitzy sort of bag for that kind of event. Although, Honestly, if I'm going to have the children with me, I'm going to need a big bag full of stuff, aren't I? They've actually got a whole host of really cute, really glitzy bags that do actually have a little strap. I love the pink one. I mean, I guess it limits, if you're choosing a colour, what it can go with, but who doesn't love pink? I mean, I love pink. £11. They're really cute. The green one actually feels really festive. Maybe green would be sensible. Really like those. And this lilac is also drawing my eye. Ooh, the dusky pink. Ooh, dusky pink. I love dusky pink. Oh, additional long handle inside. That's good to know. £11 if you're looking for a super glitzy bag. Right, it feels like quite a lot of something's inside. Let's look inside. Oh yes, it's just a very long 
strap handle. That would be a good going out bag actually. It's not too tiny. You couldn't fit any stuff in it. Maybe that'd be a good size. The most sensible thing would be to have one of those in either black or silver. I think I'm definitely more silver than gold. Although gold feels Christmassy. Oh, now this silver one's cute, but gosh, it's tiny. Like really tiny. Barely fit a phone in it kind of size. That other one we saw, you could at least fit like brush, phone, bit of makeup in. Or is that enough? I mean, I don't go out out. It's probably enough to warrant it, as in out on my own. But they're seven pounds if anyone does need one. I do like that. Ooh, they've got the same bag in this pink glitzy, love that. And the question is what to wear when I go out um, to this like party. Uh, it's a birthday party, so the children are with us. I wonder maybe to just wear the same dress I wore before and like glitz it up with a bit of blingy blingy jewelry. That could be the answer. 250 for those, really cute. And a choker maybe? The girls would go mad for that actually. Then we've got into this kind of cartoony novelty sort of section. There's a Powerpuff Girls bag. I think Powerpuff Girls were big. Perhaps I didn't watch them, I think my younger sisters did. Really cute sparkly ears if anyone's home to the parks. Really cute everything's better with you, like multi. Oh, that's eight pounds for that, that's good look because it's got this inner pouch thing that's more for travel than it is for, like going out. This kind of vanity case bag and then also these letter bags. Now I always struggle, oh hang on there is an R, I could have a referee. How much is that? Four pounds, so I could, I could have a referee but I always struggle to find W for William and Z for Zara. I can sometimes find B for Bella and like Dylan's a bit beyond wanting stuff like this but yeah trying to find the right letters can be a bit challenging <gasps> these are so pretty do i just need really pink sparkly shoes i think i might how much are they uh i mean they look horrendously uncomfortable but does it matter <laughs> okay these are sexes they are 17 pounds oh it's part of that same uh, range as the sparkly chokers and stuff i just love that sparkly bow on the toe i would get to wear them almost never but I really like them. Do I need them? What do you think? They also have them in this stunning blue colour. Really gorgeous if you've got like a pretty event to go to. Or like um, a leopard print. I think the pink obviously is going to be my favourite, but the blue is a very close second. Ah, now this is party stuff, isn't it? Look at these sparkly, sparkly bags. But look, sparkly, sparkly tops, dress, dresses, dresses probably. That's a size small, so that's the size, I think that's quite a short dress. I would have worn that definitely, but I'm not sure if I would now, if I'd have the confidence for it. Teenage me would have been all over that. I don't know, maybe I should try it. Should we do a try on? I do love it, it's fab. You do lose your confidence a little bit, don't you? After having children. Maybe that's just me. Anyone else lost their confidence a little bit after having children? Ah. Although I've got to say, this one might do the trick because it's actually got sleeves. It's so sparkly. How much is this? 18 pounds. <gasps> that might be worth a try on. Do you know what? That's quite nice too. Like a very basic velvety dress, maybe with boots or oh, this. Not the gold one perhaps for me, perhaps more of this one. Oh, I don't know. That's quite, mm. I think that's perhaps a bit short for a dress, but long for a top. Nice fabric though. But this, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, this as well, look. So sparkly, I, I'm just drawn to sparkly things, aren't I? I'm like a literal magpie. This is more like a shirt, but I guess you could put it over something. <gasps> and this is giving me totally 80s vibes, but in a good way. I think these dresses are kind of like a put them on and you either go, wow, I love it, or Ugh, get off. I think they have to be a try on, but if you've got a bit of time and you want to come and have a little look around Primark. Ah, oh, see, this is the same make, 15 pounds. Maybe that's worth a try on throwing things on the floor now. This stuff's actually really nice, look. So it's like a cardigan top and this kind of knitted but sparkly skirt, 10 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna do something totally out of the comfort zone now. Try some stuff on in the changing rooms. I can't remember the last time I did this, certainly without children, a long time ago. Okay, not sure about this one. Feel a bit. And uh, clearly had not planned on trying things on today. Now, this one feels a bit better. I'm definitely feeling a bit bloated, tiny and lumpy. And I've got the wrong bra on, but you know. Is that better? With tights or something to cover my legs? Or boots, maybe, maybe boots. 
this still gives me kind of 80s and maybe 90s vibes but maybe in a good way definitely this is my favorite so far and then we've got this one which is a little human disco ball but maybe in a good way i would definitely need tights or something <laughs> knees well i was not prepared for trying things on today but maybe with boots this one <sighs> i don't know this definitely feels very festive christmasy pretty my stomach's rumbling what do we think of this it is a little shorter than I'd normally go, to be honest, but it is pretty, isn't it? Not sure which of those I'm gonna keep. Um, I've gotta say though, you wanna feel crappy about yourself? Go and <laughs> go and get changed in dressing room where you've not thought through your underwear and the lighting's really bad, which I think is all dressing rooms. <laughs> I'm never that kind of like, oh, when I'm getting changed at home from my own mirror, perhaps the lighting's better. Anyway, what I really like, I, I did like the glitter ball one, but it's, it's a bit short, I don't know. I don't know whether to, to go for that or not. I'd love a shrug in that. Something else to catch my eye, I know, this is a skirt. So this, like I love all this glittery, glitzy stuff. I'd love just like a shrug in something like that because that could go over something else and Christmas it up a bit more, do you know what I mean? So that could like jazz up a plain black dress and be used for multiple things. So that's really what I want. Have they got anything like that? Wow, look at these, this fabric, this sort of, falls so beautifully see coming back to this this would sort of do what i said but it's more like a shirt than a cardigan or a shrug does anyone know what i mean or where they've seen them i saw someone wearing one on my night i went out out she just had like a little black shrug like that just like shorter and over a top and it looked great maybe that would do the trick what do you think of that it's not quite as glitzy as the other one and i wouldn't want to wear it on its own but would that do over things to sparkle it up a bit Hmm, maybe. Into a kind of makeup and beauty, and I know Primark have a few dupes of like higher end things. I wonder if this setting spray is any good. I know there are much more expensive setting sprays. This does say it's a spray fixant, and in MAC, do one I've had years ago, but that isn't said to set your makeup. Charlotte Tilbury one, which everyone raves about, but obviously is a lot more money than that. But this £5 one's probably worth trying. Now when I did that Get Ready With Me video, I did show a highlighter that Primark have, but I haven't seen it since I bought it, and that's a Jeep for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. These travel pots and bottles are brilliant, but just remember to keep the outer bag, because the outer bag is actually the size, if you're travelling on a plane, that you need to put into your hand luggage. So when we went, I think in June, I put, took these bottles, I put them inside a larger clear bag and that wasn't good enough. They need to be inside a bag this size, so keep the outer bag and don't recycle it. Also these little cosmetic jars are good even if you've got like a larger pot or something you don't want to clog up your bathroom or your dressing table and you just want a little bit of something. So even if you're not travelling those can be quite good and those are 80p. I wonder if this is worth a try. Has anyone tried it? It's a £3 lip plumper in clear, making lips feel moisturised and fused with vitamin E. wonder if that's worth a go. I am tempted. This also looks quite good. This is a sheer lip gloss and a color is that on it as well is it so i think that's two products yeah one of them's a lip balm and then the other one is a gloss 3.50 i'm loving this that they're calling the cosmic range as gifts so this is a really nice folding hairbrush always a good present clips for getting your hair out your face doing your makeup and things but in these really nice like iridescent colors again these are good hair clips just for clipping so i need some of those actually clipping fringe out of way to do makeup how much are they 250 face roller set facial brush i just love all this kind of cosmic iridescent -y packaging so this is a remove cleanse and exfoliate reusable pad set that's lovely obviously you don't have to buy like throw away cotton pads then you could just use those wash them and use them again and i would imagine the different textures for the different jobs light up compact mirror really cute brush look Ooh satisfying glitter that moves what's a cryo globe do you roll it over your face okay i'm a bit behind there don't know what that is and then wash off cleansing mitts i think they're the kind you put your hand in really pretty brushes oh and a light up mirror down here oh and that's really cute it's in kind of in the shape of a cloud now the question is do i want these no mark hair clips that are like cosmic colors oh, i quite like these plain black and pink ones and they are cheaper they're two pounds compared to 250 which to go for oh my goodness that's adorable it's a really nice beauty blender but with a holder so you've got somewhere to put your slightly damp sponge and i guess you could use the holder again once you've thrown out this sponge 
and we're using another one. Oh, these lip balms and nail varnishes again make excellent stocking fillers or for party gifts, that kind of thing. Oh my goodness, these are Princess Disney clips for clipping your hair out of the way. Those are amazing. And a bit of a must for me for Primark trip is picking up bath bombs. A lot of people have said, have they been okay with the girl's skin? The girls have got quite sensitive skin and I've personally found that they don't react to these at all. Okay, what is this? It's a Disney princess, 12 pounds. Can we see what's inside? Does it open? Is it one of those flippy? Oh, it is. Oh my goodness. The girls would lose their minds over that. Just lose their flipping minds. That's adorable. Father Christmas may have to be told. They've got a lot of these serums here in Primark. So if you know what you're looking for, well, I'm not sure I do, but you hear of these ingredients a lot, like niacinamide, you hear a lot of the skincare ingredients talking about niacinamide. So if you like that and you know what it is and you want it, they've got it here, which is considerably cheaper than you can get it most places. Vitamin C, apparently amazing for skin. So vitamin C serum, that's just six pounds. Hyaluronic acid you hear in a lot of face creams and things too. Now I'm, I'm no chemist. I don't know which ones potentially people need, but if you are looking for something specific in a serum or face cream, they seem to have a really good selection. <coughs> Into the kind of William sized pajama section. These are quite promising. Marvel, fluffy, or Mandalorian. He might like Mandalorian. Few options he might like. He'd actually probably like the Minecraft ones as well. I think this is perhaps something I'll have to tell Father Christmas about. I actually had this Marvel jumper for William recently and he's been wearing and wearing it. He loves it. They've also got Xbox Christmas jumpers, goal, goal, football Christmas jumpers, some sort of rocking Santa, and a gaming Santa underneath. Oh, they've got lots of these snuddy type things. Is that called a snuddy? It is, it's a snuddy. Is that a Pokemon one? I love the fabric, but William wouldn't be into Pokemon. They've got this Christmassy gingerbread one, but for Christmas, I want something that they can wear after Christmas in January. So I'd want themed potentially, but not Christmas. Lakers, that's basketball, isn't it? He's not into that. Maybe a Minecraft one quite likes Minecraft. Got a Marvel dressing gown, it's not a snuddy, but he'd probably still quite like that. Into the men's sections, and if you saw a recent vlog, it might have been a vlogmasy type vlog, Daddy of Four had a new Disney Christmas um, snuddy, and has actually been living in it. So I think for Christmas I need to get him a non-Christmas snuddy, so that he can wear it after Christmas. I was kind of thinking, of getting something like the children would like, like something Disney, something Marvel. But they've only got, they've got this popcorn one. Oh, they've got this game over one. I have seen some Marvel ones on Amazon, so maybe I'll have to go down that route instead. They've got a novelty socks, which might be okay, gifts, Marvel, Batman, and Star Wars. Wandered into the girls section, and the girls have had these. They've been amazing for like dancing, karate, swimming, that kind of thing, where they need to just put something on quickly. They don't even have to wear socks because they're fluffy. They call them muffin boots for some reason. Anyway, they could do with the next size up on them, both of them, because they're only seven pounds and brilliant. Like they're quite pretty even for party shoes, but comfy. I need to see if I can get bigger versions of those because at the moment I can only see that one pair. <gasps> Not comfy or practical at all. They would lose their minds over those Elsa shoes, which are eight pounds. Also, they would love these sparkly Minnie Mouse. These velvety pink ones are actually really cute. The Disney trainers, they have walked all around Disney and they've been brilliant. And do you know what? They probably quite like those too. Noticing some more Disney Christmas bits. Mickey and Minnie with this kind of light up star. Lots more Christmas baubles. Oh, and the pinky ones that I like. These nice cushions. They make nice stocking feathers for child's room. Duvet cover sets. One little hack that uh, Father Christmas sometimes does to pad out a sack. Sometimes children of different ages, like little ones have like massive, massive piles and perhaps older children have more expensive things that are smaller. Sometimes Father Christmas has brought my children a new duvet cover with a duvet in it, which makes it huge. That's a huge present. These throws are cute. Oh, these with Bambi on them, pretty pink colour. Oh, and Thumper's face. They've got a few face cushions going on about the place. Oh, William would like that. A stormtrooper's face. Exactly where you want to wake up to. While I'm here, I should probably pick up some of these packs of gel pens, which make fantastic gifts. And stocking fillers for girls are just so easy, aren't they? There's just so much stuff everywhere. Anyone else find it much harder to find nice little bits for boys? Is this what I think it is? Is this a Reigns backpack? It is, that is so cute. So we used to have a toddler Reigns backpack 
when mine were little and that's the child wears the backpack and it clips on them and then you've got this string bit to hold on to them and they can also put some toys and things in it they are great that would be a great present for somebody 10 pounds see this is what i mean this it's a lovely like mini mouse nuddies over here in the girly section that, i mean that could be unisex i suppose but i think my girls would be more drawn to it than william They've got this, which I would say is unisex, but is over in the girls' section. And there's just so much selection for the girls. When you compare how little there was for the boys, there's just all these choices. Losing the plot in here a bit now, so I'm going to pay. wonder how long that will take the keys look massive. Back now, let's take a look at what I bought in the haul. Now, there are a number of things that I have definitely sent in list format to Father Christmas, suggesting heavily that he goes to Primark and picks up those bits that I think might be suitable for my children. But these are the bits that I have just bought that are nothing to do with Santa. So the first thing I got is this Marvel chest of stationery. This is gonna be such a brilliant gift to go in the gift box. This was eight pounds reduced down to four. The children have got quite a few birthday parties coming up. And I can see that any of the three children would pick this out for some of their friends. Also for the present box, because these are just brilliant, I've got this pack of felt tips. These are four pounds. These also make amazing stocking fillers. And then I got two packs of these gel pens. These are three pound 50. So sometimes the children will pick like a pack of pens and a notebook, something like that to give to their friends for birthday party. More reduced items, more for the birthday party box. And these are four pounds down to two pounds. They are Disney Princess pens with a pencil case. Sometimes if the children have done something that kind of deserves a treat, then they get to choose something from the party box as well. And this is the kind of thing, you know, two pounds makes a really good treat well done present. Along the same set, we've got these journal and bookmark sets. These were six pounds, reduced down to three pounds. You can see on the back a little bit more of what's inside. And I got two of those because I thought they were a bargain. Then we never really end up staying up for New Year. The children never make it to 12. And to be honest, neither did myself and my husband. But we always do something kind of fun with the children in the evening. We tend to have like a little buffet, perhaps, I don't know, watch a film, something like that. But I thought these glow headbands would be really, really fun. These are a pound and they'll really enjoy playing with those and making the evening feel a bit festive. Because New Year's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? I think when you're super young and child free, it's kind of like, yay, New Year's such a big night. But then it was always perhaps a little bit of a disappointment. Everyone starts drinking really, really early, and then you've like got to make it till midnight. It's this kind of deadline. Maybe normally you'd stay out much later, maybe you'd go home much earlier, but this kind of midnight deadline always, I feel, puts a lot of pressure on New Year. Let me know, are you a fan of New Year or not so much? And then I don't actually have any pets, as you probably know, but um, my dad and my sister both have dogs. So um, I have got a Star Wars chewy, tuggy thing. And that's Darth Vader, not chewy. And it's for chewing as opposed to Chewbacca, see? £4.50 for that one. And then for my sister's dog, uh, this one is a 101 Dalmatians one. And this was £4.50. Then I did grab myself some Christmas socks. These were £4.50 for three pairs of socks. So we've got... Donald looking super grumpy. We've got these wreath socks. They just say Mickey Mouse on them. I don't show Mickey Mouse, but they've got wreaths. And then we've got these, which are Minnie's face and some pretty bows and snowflakes. To be honest, in the winter, I just end up wearing either boots or wellies. I always do wear wellies to do the school run. I just need something that is going to be a thick enough sock so my boots don't rub. And then if I'm going anywhere other than school, because the school's really muddy all around the grounds, then I just wear boots. And that tends to be what I wear all winter. Hair clip wise, I did put back those cosmic clips in favor of these. Apparently these don't mark your hair. Now obviously I've got a fringe, so to do my makeup, if I wear a headband, that kind of makes it pin back, but apparently these don't mark your hair. I don't know, what do we think? Do they mark my hair? More to the point, when I take it down, will my fringe behave and go back in or will it be kind of like squiffy over the side? My fringe is driving me insane at the moment. My um, hairdresser, I've got an appointment with her on Monday. We're still growing out this tuft of hair that I accidentally, is it there? This bit when I was cutting my fringe over lockdown and took a chunk from my hair, not from my fringe. So she's absolutely banned me from taking scissors to my hair, but I literally, look, I can barely see where I'm going. It's insane. So these clips were two pounds after that little tangent. I'm hoping they will be the best way to get my fringe out of my face in order to stick some makeup on. But I will be honest, I also bought these, which were for also two pounds, but for four instead of six. 
because they've got Disney on them. But I figured I could use these on the girls as well. These are also the kind of things that will go walkies. <laughs> so it's not like this one clip will live at my dressing table and um, will always be there because the girls will pick them up and move them. And then I did pick up some more bath bombs. Uh, the girls mostly use these. William could use them if he chooses to, but always just prefers to shower. And these were a pound each. What do I always say about bath bombs, guys? Wow, that's my stomach making terrible rumbling hungry noise. I think I need to eat. I always say, let's pick colours that don't add up to brown because we have had some nasty experiences with bath bombs with all the colours and they look very pretty with all the colours under the rainbow until you shove them in the bath and the bath goes brown. Nobody wants a brown bath. I got some micellar, am I even saying that right? Cleansing water for taking off makeup specifically. Eye makeup, I am obviously wearing like actual mascara now. For a while I had lash extensions, which were great because I didn't have any like black gunk to take off around my eyes and didn't end up looking too much like a panda. Whereas obviously if you're wearing proper eye makeup and mascara and things, you do need to take it off properly. This is something like as I got older, I've sort of got a bit obsessive with like, I will not go to bed with makeup on at all anymore because I just think of it all kind of in my skin, like ugh, and creating spots and yuck. So I am quite fanatical about taking off my makeup and this is sort of quite a kind and gentle way to do it even with my super dry skin. I did end up treating myself to the Minnie Mouse Beauty Blender thing, partly because I thought when traveling, this would be a really cute way to take a beauty blender, rather than putting a damp thing directly into a makeup bag, because that doesn't seem cool. So it's like a little egg with a mini ears on top that I can actually put the beauty blender in. It's probably best to let them dry off naturally, isn't it? So that they're not you know, all gross and gunky and going moldy. That's actually got mini on it, look, it's really cute. But I thought while traveling, then my slightly damp, if it's not dried out, beauty blender could go in, back in there so it's not making the rest of my wash bag or makeup bag damp. And this was £3.50. Then I got some rather boring, but just brown hair elastics. We've got so many navy hair elastics because the girls wear navy to school. But to be honest, sometimes if they're wearing other things and they still want bunches, like it's Christmas at the moment, they're mostly wearing Christmas jumpers, they've got red bows and things in their hair, and they've still just got navy hair elastics. So I thought because we've all got sort of, well the girl's hair's a little bit lighter than mine, but um, perhaps this fairer, this lighter brown colour, I could just use brown hair elastics in their hair, still get their bunches and things up, and the hair elastics won't be so obvious, and that way... That would be good because we can just see their pretty bows and things without looking at the navy hair elastics that don't match especially well. And these were a pair. Then I got some knickers, didn't I? I got some knickers for myself. These were six pounds for three pairs. They're Brazilian. When I look for knickers in Primark, I look for Brazilian shape. I look for the kind that don't dig in. So you can see these are lace at the top. So they're quite soft at the top. I don't like the kind that are like elasticy at the top because I feel like they dig in. Am I even making any sense? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? But they're the style of choice. I also got these. I'm not sure about the ones that say love all over them, um, but I just like the fact they were nice dark colours. Um, so those were both six pounds each for three pairs. I tend to wear a size 10 to 12 in most things, but I always size up for knickers because I don't like the idea of them digging in and creating like visible panty line. And then there's this. This is 18 pounds. Do I keep it or do I send it back, guys? It's 18 pounds. It's a glitter ball dress, isn't it? It's like the strictly glitter ball and turned into a dress. I kind of love it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough to wear it. It's a little shorter than I would normally go for, so I don't know whether I'd have to wear either like thicker tights or tights, leggings and boots or what with it. It is definitely shorter than I'd normally go for. It's probably lower than I'd normally go for. And it's really sparkly, it's very, ah, Christmas has arrived and it's all over me. Um, so we have got this party that we're going to tomorrow night and I don't know whether to wear this or to take it back and wear just like dark jeans and I've got like a, like a lacy top or just wear the dress that I wore when I went out out the other night. So this party we're going to, like I'll be driving, I will probably only stay for a couple of hours and I'll take the children home and leave my husband there because it's sort of his friend's um, girlfriend who it's her birthday. So I'm, I don't even know how late I'll stay. I definitely won't be drinking. Is this too much to show up at someone's birthday party? But it is Christmas. I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to be brave enough to wear it? I've got to say though, if you want to destroy your confidence, just go and look at yourself in the mirrors in Primark. I don't know whether it's the lighting or the fact that I wasn't kind of prepared and wearing the right underwear and stuff for trying stuff on, but I was like, wow. I didn't realise I looked like this in my mirrors at home. <laughs> it's not terribly flattering, is it? I know I should be very much body positivity and things, but I think as much as 
it is good to have body positivity. I think I'd like to be honest and also say that sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, wow. But I think if we're honest, we all have those moments where we look at ourselves perhaps, in, especially in changing room mirrors and have sort of crisis of confidence moments. So I'm all for body positivity, but it's something I'm probably still working on, if I'm honest, for myself. It's definitely something I'm kind of striving for and something I want and a message I want to pass on to my children. I'm just not sure if I'm 100% there yet, hence why I have my like, ooh, can I get a really get away with this moments with things like this. So will I wear this or not? Wear it or send it back? So what do you think guys? Keep or take back? I never know what to do. And then when I asked my husband, like we went out the other night for a date night. It was what we call a speed date, as in the children were all in karate for one hour. So we went out for a drink and a bite to eat for 50 minutes <laughs> in a place nearby. Um, so that's speed dating married style. Anyway, so I put this um, just like dress on and just some leggings and boots. And I said to him, what do you think? Does this look okay? And he said, well, I wouldn't wear it. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to respond to that. So I guess I'll try this on and um, yeah, I don't know what he'll say um, or whether I'll go for it or not. Well, I am filming a weekly vlog at the moment, which I'm sure we'll cover up to tomorrow night. And in that, I will let you know whether I actually wear this or take it back. And you can click over here to see that weekly vlog as soon as that is live and then you'll know if I have been brave enough to wear this dress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe and turn on bell notifications for lots more Primark and other places shop with me in halls and let me know if there's anywhere else you want me to go shopping and take you guys along with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.